People, I'm Johnny Scoville. I have issues. And this is Chase the Heat. Sorry about the shadows. Guys that remember the channel from years and years ago will remember them. There's Mama Scoville driving off in a Porsche. Crazy, my mom drives. You're about to see it right behind me. It's my mom. My mom drives a Porsche, isn't that crazy? All right, you guys, so Tom Broom, first of all, Merry Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, it's a tense time for everybody, so lean on each other, right? Uh, what I've got here in my hand are 10 killer yellows. Now, real quickly, I'm gonna stall for just a second because this is a scary challenge, but it gives me a good chance to tell you a little bit about this pepper. Uh, I was with Tom uh, last month, I was on his farm, and. Uh, he said, I, he showed me this pod, a plant with these big yellow pods. I said, man, what is that? I hadn't seen them before. And he goes, I've been waiting to tell you. It's, I think it's an accidental cross. I went, really? And he thought it was an accidental cross between a uh, red, red primatale, which is the hottest pepper in the world. It just is. Uh, and, uh, or chocolate primatale, but the primatale is the hottest pepper. And he thought it was a cross between that and a yellow, or excuse me, a lemon yellow brain, which was my favorite tasting super hot. But that thrilled me. I was just super excited. It was a, what a great accident. But then he did some further investigation, and what he learned was uh, that um, if, you, if it was a pod, if, it, if that was the case, then the pod would have clearly thrown some round pods, because that's what the yellow lemon brain are. They're round brains. Uh, and it didn't throw any, not a one. So Tom is a, listen, he's a botanist. The guy's a, he's an amazing grower. So what we, he has determined, and I kind of agree with him, these are not a cross between a primatale and a, another pod. He was growing red primatales and out of nowhere, it threw a yellow pod. He's grown them out and he is creating the first yellow primatales. <clears throat> so although they are yellow primatales, he is calling them killer yellows and that is the reason why now when i tried this pod a few months ago it was approaching reaper heat and for a yellow pod to reach reaper level heat is astonishing so this is my and it was the day i ate it a month or two ago this is my new favorite super hot it's a killer yellow or a yellow primatale as far as flavor goes and heat, it just checks every box. It's beautiful, it tastes great, it's hot as can be, it's got that lemon flavor, but it's got that primatale heat. So without further ado, you see my breath, it's chilly out here. Killer Yellow, 10 pod challenge for Christmas Eve, courtesy of Tom Broom. I love you all, I mean that. I'm Johnny Scoville, I have issues, and this is Chase C. There's a sweetness to it that is just incredible. really hot for a yellow pot it's so hot Man, the heat is already bad. Very consistent taste and heat though. Lemon flavored, but wow. For yellow pod, you're gonna be shocked. <clears throat> It's the hottest yellow pot I've ever had, hands down.
Wow, my ears are burning. Ugh. What a beautiful pepper. You know, geese, geese fly south for the winter. This is their destination for a lot of them. This place is overrun with geese. Canadian geese during the winter is crazy. Oh. Now, something very special I want to talk about, and this is really important. Oh. Steve Kelly is a big friend of the channel. Been a big friend of the channel for a long time. All right, one more. Wow. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, Steve Kelly is just a really great friend of the channel. Uh, his brother Brian died yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, it's the most gut-wrenching thing. Very, very sudden, 49 years old. Just a devastating situation. Um, we're, there's a GoFundMe page. And I'm putting the link in. This is a super hard time of the year. And if you guys could help, uh, click that link and help help the family out. Um, Steve is a great guy. He really is. He's been part of the channel for a very long time. I'm a brother dude. Man, I got a brother that I would die for in a New York minute. And the thought of losing him is just beyond what I can tolerate in my head. So I can't fathom what Steve is going for. He lost his brother, Brian. So if you guys could do me a favor, please. I'm going to talk about it again in another video. But if you could please click the link and help the family out. You guys want to give a good birthday present? Do that. I've had so many people say they want to send me something. I, honestly, I get these emails every year. Don't send me anything. Help out the Kelly family. And click that link for the GoPro. It's an unfathomable time to lose a brother. There's no time that's okay to lose a brother. But this time of the year, it's surreal. I can't imagine where his head is. So if we could all please do that for Steve, that would be the that would mean the world to me. All right. Super hot peppers. <coughs> My ears are ringing. Oh, there's the endorphin rush. So please, let's help out, Steve. Uh, when he reached out to me, I was gutted by it. I really love my brother, and I know, you know, so. Uh, I'll talk more about it in the next video, but if you guys could help out that family, it would mean the world to me. Uh, thank you, Tom Broom, for these peppers. I love each and every one of you. On uh, the description box, you're going to see the link for Tom Broom, but you're also going to see the link for that uh, GoFundMe page for, the, for Steve. Please, let's help them out. There's the, the bus, there's the boat, and there are more videos. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoble. I have issues. And this was Chase the Heat.